Before we do the seminar, always a lecture, particularly some of your first time. And so it's good to go back to the basic. Yeah, but you know, uh, never some some people never hear my lecture, never come across how I teach. So we come here to study Qigong. Although we are going to learn enlightened. Enlightenment goal, but is is qigong? Is one of the qigong? So what is qigong? When we go back to basic, then we go back to the, it's the Chinese culture. So go back to the Chinese world. That chi. Qi will pronunciation. Qi. But proper pronunciation should be si. Go high. Si. Si. Gong. Gong is alright. Si. So maybe that reason. Your Q sound. Two words. One. Two parts. And Chinese writing is like picture. First part is this one. This is like is a plan. This plan is most common plan, most important plan for for China in China. For Chinese people, it's rice. So it's rice. And the rice, you grow them, you can't eat them. How do you eat the rice? You got it from the plant. Boy, <laughs> yeah. You need to cook it. Cook it. It's a pot, not the rice. Water and then you have a lid here. This thing even thousands of years ago we made that. Early, early time of course, barbarian time, anything. Yeah. So we are a bit dumb. When you try to eat anything without cooking, you get dumb. Yeah. So you see animals dumber than us because they eat whatever they see. After cooking, Boom, boom, boom. Start to intelligent. Yeah. Cook. And because you see the difference. Yeah. You see people, what they see, they're going to do it without thinking. It's back to animals' style, isn't it? You want to say something. Someone asks you, eh, how do I look? You need to think before you answer. Don't answer what you, what you see. Otherwise, you don't like animal, isn't it? Uh, don't look good. No, you can't say that. Look, even you want to say, don't look, it doesn't look good, but you need to say it differently. Maybe the color you can change to be like that will look better. Look better, rather than don't look good. You know. So, it's already intelligent. So, we don't say what we think straight away. Not because we are uh, tricky, because we need to learn how to handle the balance. We'll leave this later. Go back to the rice. You cook it with fire and water, and what will happen? What you see? Steam. So the second part, this thing. It's a steam. So when you cook it, you see the steam. And that steam, we call chi. So that's how we see. And the chi means the things we will see it, 
but we can't form it. There's no shape. So, but sometimes you can't really see much until really strong. The beginning cooking, just maybe a little bit. You need to pay more attention. So to see it, until the, the steam very strong, ah, you see the smoke. So, from that also is whole Chinese culture related. It's about qi. So you use it for for any situation, many situations. Like weather. We call sky qi. Ten qi. Why is that? Because the sky, when the weather, is can form it, but changeable. It's like just the cheese and but in the sky. So, yeah. If you cook very well, yeah. warm cheese. Yeah. So, people cook very well, have a very good warm cheese, the dishes. Because Chinese use always use some wall. Somebody have very uh, uh, loyal uh, have a principle. Yeah, you can't change them easy. Not change. We said these people have Bo Chi. Wu Chi. So the bone have Chi. This person, the spirit must be higher. You can't change them. They are principle. They're loyal for what they believe, what they what they want, uh, what they do. So and uh, you can't change. Very, very good bong chi. Particularly, those people get captured and tortured, walking, beating them, still not ch not change and they give any 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 information. Oh, very good bong chi. That's what we call. Yeah. Bong chi. So you can you can imagine you know anything about chi is about the the energy and the spirit, but you can't really describe it properly. 